hit it again. I waited too long. It's supposed to hit the nitrous right away. I'm going to hit it now. Okay, I'm going to back this down some right now. Oh, I should have done that. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to KSJ Gaming. And in today's episode, we are going to... We're going to be riding this bad boy right here. I like to call it the Daddy Shark. So, um... It's pretty cool. Pretty cool skin. Uh, won this car by getting a minimum of 500,000 RP uh, last season or last update, whatever it was. But kind of let's jump into it. Here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, pump out a couple live races here. This does have a, a live tune into it. Let's just go ahead and get a race here. Pick anybody. Just get these 10 silver keys. And then we're going to jump over to some service trial racing. And I'm going to show you how to, um, you know, kind of how to set yourself up for that too. So you can win all your service trial races. Okay. I'm trying to think, what's the shift pattern? This is actually, I just turned the game on. Didn't do anything. Haven't done no test runs. I'm trying to think. I think I drop at one. I don't know. I think I shift. I think I, I do my nitrous in like third gear. I can't remember. I don't think it's going to matter really. I win, I win, I lose, I lose. No big deal. Oh, that was such a shitty start. Jeez. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm going to be like lucky to win this. I'm going to downshift right now. Okay, yeah, I don't know what tech that was. I have my little sheet to where I, I like have shift patterns and things like that because I, I take notes of everything. Because you, it's impossible to remember everything. Drop middle two. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I dropped too late. Let's do one more. Let's do one more race. Now, with this setup, I should be running like a 15.9. That's kind of like what I should be at is 15.9. But it's dyno at 20.4. So I beat the dyno by three and a half seconds. I'm just trying to get one more race here for you guys. It's like either everybody's scared or, or I'm getting disconnected. So the way this shift pattern should be, um, I drop in uh, mid two, middle of two. I, I I I do mine by you know top, top, middle, and bottom. So top is like the top of a number, the middle of a number, and the bottom of a number, obviously. So the way that this one is going to be, um, so I drop mid two, uh, and nitrous right away. Deep perfect in the second, and if I get the third, same thing. Deep 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 third but i'm not sure if i actually shifted into third with this one i can't believe that i can't get a race okay looks like we got one and you know to be honest with you i'm not even that confident in this lobby so i wouldn't bet real big off the gate because i'm just not confident in the car nor, nor the lobby i'm not really sure i know the last race was kind of puttish and and, and i won But I gotta drop mid two, hit nitrous. I'm not gonna hit the nitrous. I don't know. Oh shit, I did it again. I waited too long. I'm supposed to hit the nitrous right away. I'm gonna hit it now. Okay, I'm gonna back this down some right now. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> oh, jeez. So he ran what a 17.8 and I can run a 15.9 so I don't think I really need to use nitrous so far it's looking like I don't have to use nitrous here he's probably going to refuse because I mean they did make it a Tempest 3 so they should be smart enough to know that I messed up my shift pattern <laughs> and that's how he was able to uh, blow by me but we'll find out 
here we go. Okay, mid two is when I drop. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I'm just not going to be able to catch them. I'm just going to let it wind out right here. Back shift. There we go. All right, let's see what he ran. 17.7, 17.9. Okay. Alrighty. So, realistically, I don't even know if my setup is correct because I don't know if I would have realistically been able to pull off a 15.9. Whatever. I'll do a couple more here to see if we can get some. See if we can get some bets going. I want to do some bets. One of these guys have to be able to like, put a little something on it. Okay. Let's, oh, oh, there we go. I'm going to go over here mashing all of the challenge buttons like whoever I can get. Okay, we got another one going here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Drop mid two. I'm going to hit it. Oh, man. See, I'm just, I'm just not that familiar with the car yet. I'll downshift right now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I did it too soon. See, this is the Corvette I would totally just... And he had a bad start to begin with, too. 0.3. So, I just... Uh, all right. See, I don't know what this car run without nitrous. I, this is why you should tune it. Or not tune it, but test it. You know, I could test these different variables. Like, you know, what if I hit the nitrous and in uh second gear versus midway through first gear uh what will my time be what will my time be if i don't hit the nitrous at all what will my time be if i hit it in second gear i'm gonna do it in second gear and see what happens okay this is gonna be close oh man i should have just as soon as instead of revving, 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 revving it out. Let me see. What did he run? Okay, 0.5. Okay. All right. So 18.0 is kind of where the field's at. 17.8 to 18.0. But this is okay. It's good to kind of get some losses like this. The reason why is that you stay in the lobby and, you know, realistically, the races that you lose, if you follow my, if you follow my live tune setups. The races that you lose are gonna you're gonna lose them like because of you, not so much because of like another car. I wish you would have saw earlier. I was just like going through some gas pips and I wish you guys would have saw it that um you know, I took my, my favorite live race car and um hit a couple you know, jumped into a lobby with, with my fave and very first person I raced, man, they they put up a thirty thousand dollar bet. So I know, hey, they want to bet. I went all the way to two hundred. Um, hold on. Okay, we're gonna try hitting it again on second gear and see what happens. And then I'm gonna actually shift like as soon as I hit the deep green here. Oh, that was so close. I just nudged it out. And I would have beat the other guy the same way. See, that's real close. And this guy's like, man, if, or this racer's like, if I would have had a better launch, then I would have won that one. Because I did have a, a point, you know, a, a 133 where I had, a, I had an 050. So, you know, hey, that makes a difference. So I'm going to ask to race them again. Let's see what they want to do. Now, if it's for big money, I would just go for it, blow caution to the wind, and just, uh, you know, drop in my M2 nitrous right away, and then, you know, put up a, you know, a fast time. Okay, we're still going here. 
Dude, all these freaking scared ass racers, come on. Come on, come on. But this is what happens sometimes. You know, you get into lobbies. You know, for some time, I think people get intimidated by, by um, purple cars. Purple star cars. They get intimidated to the fact that they think that they're like super fast or whatever. That's not the case. Some of the slowest cars in the game are five star uh, purple cars. Like all the boss cars. They're garbage. Most of them are. Okay, let's try this. Let's do it. I'm going to wait to hit it again. I'm going to hit it now. Screw it. He was kind of just pulling away a little too quick for my liking. I'm not going to beat him. Yeah, I, I would have got... Smoked. I mean, I already kind of did, but oh, I'm gonna watch these. Hold on, he just got one ad out of it, <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. I like that uh, Progressive took over these ads because uh, their ads are only six seconds long, so that's pretty legit. You don't have to wait all dang day, like 30 seconds to get two gas pips. You know, six seconds you get two. So you can get 10 gas pips in the same time it normally would take you to get one or two, I should say. Hey, if any of you guys, uh, if any of you guys are in this lobby, you definitely have to let me know. Definitely um, send a comment. Uh, it'd be awesome. And, uh, you know, if I beat you, I hope that you can learn. And then, um, you know, it, 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 maybe it doesn't happen next time. I'm not claiming to be the best by no means. So before I hit this, let me see. Before I hit this at like 7,000 RPMs, I'm going to hit it at 5,000 RPMs now. Just to see if I can get a little bit of extra edge on passing him up. And then I'll downshift. Oh, I was going to downshift, but actually, so I just... Barely nudged him out. So this is a good way to gauge it too. I kind of want to make a good point on this. So if you notice, so here's what happened. I mean, he had a great launch. He finished at 144. So he's really taking his car all the way out. But I want you to like, look at this real quick. So we have a 4960 in my end, a 71. So because men, mind you at 5,000 RPMs, I don't know what my speed was. I just, I go by RPMs. That's a easier gauge. <clears throat> and you know, I hit that at 5,000 RPMs, and I just beat him by literally by five, by five hundredths of a second. So, yeah, that's, um, yeah, five hundredths of a second. So that wasn't wasn't by much. But if if you look at this, then you'll see that, you know, if I would have waited to say 6,000 RPMs or anything else, I don't think I would have won. I don't think I'd have been able to cover that five hundredths of a second. So. Normally, when I go into a lobby to go test, uh, what I'll do is I'll just do scenarios. I'll see what's the car running at, you know, max. What's the car running at, uh, you know, if I hit all my shifts perfect. You know, I kind of play around with it. You know, what does it, what does it do if I, like my Corvette is, is uh, the Corvette, uh, the C3 ZR1. That's a perfect example where you can say, hey, if I go ahead and, take this, uh, you know, um, hit it at 35 miles an hour with the Corvette. I, I, I do at, you know, miles per hour, um, on that car. But if I take it at 35 miles per hour, and then I hit the nitrous, I'm going to run, you know, a, a 10 0 to a 10 1, but the car can really run a nine two. And if I don't use any nitrous at all, it'll run a, a 10 eight or something like that. So just things to things to um to, to keep in mind. <clears throat> also, guys, hey, we are we are sponsored by Pure Chem Labs. Go check them out on YouTube. Uh, PureChemLabs.com will forward you to their YouTube page. Check them out. They're 420 enthusiasts, so if, if you're into that, uh, definitely you know go check them out. They're pretty cool. 
So let's see. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to kind of get right into the... Let me show you this part. You know what? That was live racing. Let's just go ahead and do this, dude. Let's just go ahead and cut this video. I'm going to do another one that's going to basically show us service trials, I think. Let me see here. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. So we're going to do a tuning trial. My bad. So we're going to get this to above 20... Uh, 20 EVO for the most part. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and cut this one right now. I want to uh, I want to say thank you guys and I appreciate you following me. Go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, daily content's gonna be gonna be coming out. So uh, if you it, like I said, if you liked it, just big thumbs up. I'd, I'd appreciate it. Also hit the notification button. And hopefully one day I can see you on the starting line.